Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Interviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video leading up to this weekend's release of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We're here to talk about, will this show, after all these years, do we think it will be worth the wait? All right, guys, this one's going to be doing another video today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another discussion video. We're going to be discussing The Walking Dead, Ones Who Live. Will it be worth the wait? So, oh my God, guys, we're getting so freaking close. We're Wednesday today. So, um, I'm so excited. I'm so damn excited. Uh, videos over the next few days are probably going to be way more often than usual. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to be doing a whole bunch of just random shit. So <laughs> keep them notifications on because you'll probably never know when Dan posts another one who live video because that's, that's definitely going to be happening. Um, okay. Now this video, we're going to talk about, do we think the show is going to be worth the wait? Do we think the show is going to be worth all the years that we've waited, all the time that we've waited for this show? Do we think it is going to pay off? Now, in my opinion, I will say that I do, in fact, think it's going to pay off. And here's the main reason why. They spent six years writing this show, right? Six years really going in depth, really, you know, going into it. Obviously, it started off as a trilogy of films, and then it moved on to a uh, six-episode TV show, which they're still titling, uh, titling this show a six-episode event, which I, you know... In a way, I, I feel like that's kind of their way of masking it if they do want to surprise us with a season two. But at the same time, I don't know if AMC would false advertise something like that. So that's kind of up in the air. But, um, you know, we've been waiting a long time to see Rick and Michonne. We've been waiting a long time to find out what's going on with the CRM. Hell, we watched two seasons of The Walking Dead World Beyond just to get extra knowledge of the CRM and what they do and what they're about. You know, that's actually one of the few things I'll, I'll very much support about World Beyond is that I do think that they gave us a lot of really good knowledge um, on exactly what the CRM is up to, which is good because again, it, it, it gives World Beyond a little bit of a purpose, though I think it's just kind of a silly teen drama, um, and for the most part it is, uh, at the same time, it gave us a lot of really good knowledge on the CRM, and I do I do give credit where credit is due there, um, but you know, in The Ones Who Live Now, we have that extra knowledge from World Beyond, and we also have extra knowledge from just everything, really, so you know, Waiting this long to see Rick return, waiting this long to see Michonne return, um, do we think that this show will pay off? Now, here's one thing I'll say. Based off of the footage that I've seen from this thing, based off of the trailers, based off of the knowledge we have, based off of everything... It looks like a movie. I mean, does it not? Like, it looks like a darn movie. Um... Not to mention, I mean, I've heard several people that got early screenings for this episode that said, like, it is insane, you know? And, again, one thing we don't do here, we do not discuss leaks. We don't talk about episode plot details that are not properly released. But I will say that what I've seen and what I've, you know, watched of this, you know, first episode <laughs> via leaks because I've gotten some stuff spoiled for me, which, again, we don't discuss that here. You don't have to worry about that. Um, but I can say one thing. It looks fucking incredible. It does. It looks like the weight is absolutely going to pay off. Um which I'm glad for, you know, because the one thing I didn't want is for this show to come on and people to be disappointed, you know, and it sounds like this is going to be their best spinoff yet, which again is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to see what they do, how they pull this off, how they make this just feel like an event because it really does feel like an event. Um, and for that, I'm so excited. So, post comments down below. Do you think that this show will be worth the wait? Do you think it's going to be worth all the time, pain, and suffering we've had waiting for the return of Rick Grimes? Do you think that that is all about to pay off this Sunday? Walking Dead Ones Who Live is this Sunday. So excited. So much looking forward to it. We're going to be doing a plethora of videos over the next few days. So, you know, of course, stay tuned. Um, get ready. And let's celebrate as we get the return of the GOAT of The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes. Will it be worth the wait? I think it will, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, of course, thank you all for watching. If you knew the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos of The Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.